The Lord be with you. I'm Deacon Keith Fournier. And our first reading is taken from the letter to the Hebrews. The Word of God is something alive, active. It cuts more incisively than any two-edged sword. It can seek out the place where soul is divided from spirit or joints from marrow. It can pass judgment on secret emotions and thoughts. No created thing is hidden from Him. Everything is uncovered and stretched fully open to the eyes of the one to whom we must give account of ourselves. Since in Jesus, the Son of God, we have the Supreme High Priest who has gone through to the highest heaven, we must hold firm to our profession of faith. For the High Priest we have is not incapable of feeling our weaknesses with us, but has been put to the test in exactly the same way as ourselves, apart from sin. Let us then have no fear in approaching the throne of grace to receive mercy and to find grace when we are in need of help. And our responsorial psalm is taken from Psalm 19. The precepts of Yahweh are honest, joy for the heart. The commandment of Yahweh is pure, light for the eyes. The fear of Yahweh is pure, lasting forever. The judgments of Yahweh are true and upright, every one, more desirable than gold, even than the finest gold. His words are sweeter than honey that drips from the comb. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. Mark. Jesus went out again to the shore of the lake and all the people came to him and he taught them. As he was walking along, he saw Levi, the son of Alphaeus, sitting at the tax office and he said to him, follow me. And he got up and followed him. When Jesus was at dinner in his house, a number of tax collectors and sinners were also sitting at table with Jesus and his disciples. For there were many of them among his followers. Now when the scribes of the Pharisee party saw him eating with sinners and tax collectors, they said to his disciples, why does he eat with tax collectors and sinners? And when Jesus heard this, he said to them, it is not the healthy who need the doctor, but the sick. I came to call not the upright, but sinners. The Gospel of the Lord.